guys i'm live hi guys look who i have with me i did it I'm live oh my gosh you guys there's so many of you here hello the time has come tinga i'm out of breath i'm so excited oh my gosh okay guys Thank you. It's ironic for becoming a member. You guys. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hey, Ozzy. Thank you. Tragedy pimps exposed. You did. You guys waited so long. Earth. Thank you for the super sticker metal clips. I love you guys. It's been 113 days, y'all. 113 days. And we have the, the, um, Mercury in the Lucasade right now with TPE. And so she's going to be in and out, but she's definitely my co-host for the evening. <laughs> no matter what, my girl's with me. Uh, she's got storms. I've got wind. Thank you, stars. Thank you, everyone. I love you guys. I, first, let me start right off the bat with that, because this stream is about love after all. That's what brought me back love. 
And I really do love you guys. I missed you guys. And I appreciated all the support while I was gone. Thank you, Chris. Guys, I'll be doing a members only stream this weekend too. Look, poor TP. She's so in the microwave. <laughs> hey, Archangel, Magpie, everybody. I'm nervous, but we're going to get through this. It's been a while. <clears throat> we have some things to review. I, I think that you guys know what we're going to review this evening, right? I mean, love is in the air. I swear I'm here, but I'm in a mount. I know you're here. I can see you. Hey, Pearl. Hi, Gemini. J. Marie. Everybody. Rocco. Tanga. Y'all, let me just start with this. We'll start here. Let's start here. It's a perfect place to start. Round and around and around. Go hunk of burning love. I have a song for them too. Prayer Garden had a song for Fred and Ziggy. That's what we're going to talk about tonight, ladies and gents. She finally came out. She came out. She told everybody. Everybody was so shocked. Hearts for Friggy. Hearts for Friggy in the chat. Please. Please. Hopefully TPE will be able to join us because we are going to review a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Yes, Pooh. Are you working on a new one? By the way, Pooh's link is always in the description. Guys, I'm so, I gotta chill for a minute. I gotta chill. Whew. So happy to be back. So the crickets are happy. Gatorade is in the retrospect. Fuck. Fuck. Little Friggy is important. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. I got something for you. We're not very organized today. It's been a while. Look at that. 50 Shades of Friggy. It's real love. It's real love. Look, he'll have this. <clears throat> To cook him spaghetti. But lasagna is too expensive. You don't have crickets, Cindy? You have crickets. You can come over and play with our crickets. Jimmy, good to see you. Hearts in the chat for love. That's right, Magpie. Love is in the air. Ziggy's going to tell us all about it. Let's get into it. Because it's got all weird. She was also very, very Isn't excited she? to go live about okay. this. I put it on two hours. She forgot that she used the restream application during that time that she was off of YouTube, right? She was completely gone, said she was taking a break, but she wasn't. She was on restream, um, streaming on kick. So, yeah. One thing for everybody joining membership, I'm going to go through and I'm going to shout everybody out here at the end. And tomorrow I will be doing a members only live stream. But thank you guys so much. Mercury really is in the Lucas egg. Do you know want to know what I thought? Thank you, Cheer Crime with Eve. We're so happy you're back. Take time and do your thing. That money. That money, I will. I love it. I'm happy to be back. Really happy. But I want to show you what it was like when uh, I found out that Ziggy finally came out. And she was like, everybody's so surprised, guys. Nobody knew. Come. 
you'll just have to imagine with me what my video there would have looked like because it's not going to work. We're totally in it. We're in it. That way only those that actually here. subscribe um, will be able to respond right now, at least for two hours. TPE, are you here right now? I hope so. Am I here? You are. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I'm on my phone hear you. right now. <laughs> yes. This is my, dad audience on here. my phone. Everybody here, TPE. Please let us know so. in the chat. No Ouija boards? Why not? I can't see the chat. I'm using my phone and my, but I'll try to go back in and I'm like so I restarted all things. So I'm glad I'm here too. I'm glad. I hope I, am so I can excited. stay for more than three minutes this time. We'll find out. Right. It's raining so a lot too. here. So. Wow. I have my phone actually just started playing my live stream on the bed by itself. Oh my I'm god. Not even... <laughs> what is happening? Thank I know, you. I don't know. Love you six. I'm so glad you're back. Sunday fun day. That's right. Beach baby. Beach. Is today Sunday? No. Today's no. Not Sunday. Okay, no, good. but tomorrow's like, Friday. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Tomorrow is Friday. Fridays are good. Yeah. I'm so glad y'all are here. Yeah, okay, I hope I'm gonna stay. Exposed. Yeah, I want you to stay. Yeah. What what did you I'm think? Try. What did you think about this? We're not gonna play your video tonight, but uh TPE just premiered a video today where she reviewed um <laughs> the little love story that we're going to talk about this evening. What did you think when you first heard that Ziggy was telling everybody they were together? Well, my first impression was to laugh. <laughs> oh, she's gone again, y'all. Is anybody else in the... Oh, God. Anyways, of course, today. I don't think I'll be it's been on that. one, one, three I mean, days, people. One, one, Ziggy. One, one, three. That's crazy, Lori. What kind of bad things are you doing on YouTube? I mean, you know, you know what, Nikki? You know that's what she does because you've been here from the beginning and you know that's what this bitch does. That's how she makes a living is by um, taking people's personal business and doing this, what she does, speed her up. We're not gonna watch YouTube's all this, but we're gonna off. watch a lot of it. So, so I wanted to talk about this before anybody else had an opportunity to tell like my story. Well, me and Fred's story, and how uh, and how everything has got to what it is now. <clears throat> so, and some people are going to be like, some people are going to be really sad or bummed that I didn't say anything sooner. But as far as like that goes, it's obvious to me. It, it's why. I mean, so many people have been determined to just cause problems. So, um. And um, Fred's really trying. I think that you've caused a lot of problems in Fred's life, actually, in my opinion. I mean, you're not helping. That's for damn sure. Maybe, I mean, you guys are helping each other financially, but you're definitely not helping him. I mean, she is glowing. I'm sorry about your internet. Uh, mine's doing a thing. We got the wind, we got the, the retrograde, we got everything going on, but we're going to get through it regardless. Regardless. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty fucked up. But, you know, Ziggy. She means me. I cause problems. Me too. I come, I fuck shit up, and then I leave. Trying to do the right thing. Um... And I don't want that 
I screwed up for him. So uh, I've, I've been trying to stay quiet on some things. What do you mean, stay quiet? What does, I guess, quiet means something completely opposite for her. We, we do live in opposite world while we're in this world, by the way. If you've never been to Ziggy World, it is opposite and upside down all the time. Oh, I'm so glad Cindy's here and Tanga and all the jerk ladies and TPE, even though she can't get up. <laughs> Stars. Amanda, good to see you. Hey, Breeze. Laura has health issues. Well, here's the thing. Laura's a victim. Period. And end all. And over here, uh, victims get protected. And yeah, she's not fooling me. So basically, let me see, make sure I'm in. And I'm talking about the chat is not saying, I don't like restream. Hey, the job. Even, uh, even the closest people to me don't know. Like, what do you mean that? What, so, what, what the fuck do you mean the closest people to you don't know when the furthest away did? <laughs> We're watching it. We've been watching it happening for a long time and talked about it many, many times. Right. Come on. Oh, let's see. Me and Fred met, me, Fred and Laura met in um, the beginning of 2022, January of 2022. And when I first met them, I was like, I have been uh, missed and you guys don't even know really how much you've been missed. And I know I'm kind of jumping right into it, but that's how it's going to be. Um, I'm a review channel. That's what I do. Oh, by the way, Ziggy, I want to remind you because I know you're going to hear this. Um, that uh, imaginary protective order that you filed. Remember? Oh, man, look at that pause game. Still always on fucking point. <clears throat> it's expired. Just like your dreams. Because you just fucking shacked up with some weirdo. <laughs> I can't believe you even had the nerve to come on here and talk about anybody else. Let me think of my impression. I thought Fred was like one of the nicest people. I, I couldn't believe that people... Studio uh, headphones. <clears throat> hey. Like the things people had been saying about Dumple him dog. even from that meeting um and laura was i didn't talk to laura as much but we did talk we had those couple interviews and then obviously the couple interviews on here and um and sometimes when i would message it would be her or it would be fred or whatever um so this has been developing over the past couple years uh I was really, I really wanted to help them on, you know, especially I really wanted to help both of them get them up here. Um, they were bo both my friends. Mm. Mm. You know, that makes it worse, right? You know, there's a code, right? Like, I mean, I don't like to say, it, but I mean, there's a code. Shout out to my Ma Carrie in the chat. She knows what island she lives on. I think the rest of you do too, right? Um, and I did a lot for both of them. Oh, thank you, Stephanie. Translation. She, she did a lot for her. I'm nervous, but not as nervous as what you guys would think. Because it's something that I've been um, thinking on for a while now Thank on how you, to Cindy. do it. I love you. Did I kill you, Carrie? <laughs> I mean, can you imagine what that island smells like? Dress this. 
And then people aren't going to understand and people are, people are going to talk shit and people aren't going to understand, but it's, it's not their life and they don't have to live it. So, you know, and I think that over time people will see the truth more so. And <clears throat> you guys will see like what, what I see in Fred and why I think he's such an amazing person. Okay. <laughs> now, <clears throat> Fred's an amazing guy, folks. She drinks like a weirdo. She does, in fact, drink like... Everything she does is like a weirdo. Amanda? Not Marley in love, but madly in love. It's just... Love story of the ages. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. Love is blind yeah it is <laughs> burnt popcorn look i know that we're laughing but that is the sad part of that is and we're gonna get to that because of course of course she's gonna mention it the jab thank you thank you so much i would play you guys my videos i made i'll try again but I don't think it's going to work. Let me try this one. One of them get timed out, which is her six up son. You freaking stop the show. You're like, e who timed out JBT? Like you make freaking stop the show. You're like, e who timed out JBT? Like you made the biggest deal. Like you guys were BFF. I don't think you've seen it, but did you hear it? Thank you, Jeep girl. It's great to be back. Thank you so much. You guys are awesome. For real. Thank you. Does she not think if her new lover was in jail and can't leave the state, maybe? Well, I mean, I wasn't going to spoil it yet, but they're going to get married. So <laughs> that's what's going to happen. They're going to get married. Um, they could already be. I mean, we'll know when it happens, right? It's public record. Oh, TP's back here. Are you here? Wow is right. There's been a whole lot of owl in this house this week. A whole lot of laughing and uncontrollable stomach aching from laughing. Mm. I'd already planned on coming back this week. By the way, there was already, it was set in stone, spring break, one season, I'm off, I'm coming back, and here I am. So this was a chef's kiss. Can you hear you me? I'm here. <laughs> here. I feel like I have about three minutes to spit it all out before I get booted again. I don't know, something's wrong. I feel like it might be this it might um, be restream it might be. <laughs> it's do, not do don't to... don't blame oh, the restream you. it's the no it's the no it's the mercury in the retrograde all right I, I don't know what it is but like all the other things are working i can type in the chat i can hear i i don't know what it is but i'm about to get booted i can feel it well i assume <laughs> I'm, based well, I'm on so glad that you're here for a minute and i get to <laughs> we get to all hear you <laughs> Great. Hey, same shit. Jay Marie, hey. what may be a rumor? Hey. I'm so glad you're hey, up here. I know. <laughs> it would probably be really quick, but I'm here to say hey, and I'm here for moral support and all the things. Right. I, don't know. I was here. thinking about dropping the link in the chat a little later, too. And we get a little Which bit one? later into the evening. I don't know how long. Drop the link for people to come up if they want to. Oh, you never know. Well, maybe the maybe the, they'll be able to stay. That would be Am I, awesome. I mean, Bree said, "Are you lighter coming back now that you don't have to carry that restraining order anymore?" No, Bree, because now I carry another one, a very different one. There you go. You know what I'm saying? Hell, but yeah. I will tell you this: um, there won't be another one. <laughs> there won't be another one. 
And I, I, we're going to get into some other creators too coming up. And we'll talk about that, of course, at the end of the live stream. Uh, bang, spoiler alert. Um, <laughs> man, yeah. that one is out of control. Out She's got a control. problem with lying. I mean, mm. it seems to come naturally to her. She, she also has a problem with uh, knowing that she can't walk up and touch people on the street. Like yes, she can't just assault I saw that. people. Yep, yeah, I saw that. And then, she, yeah, she pretends that she just gently let them know. I just walked up gently and, you know, just to let them know. But yeah, she lied. Mm -hmm. mm, never heard of her. I heard that um, calling her bangs was bullying. And I'm sorry. Um about that i'm not gonna call i her thought that. it was nice i thought I, that was yeah i didn't I, think I, it was bullying because know. you can that change your bangs nicest. like is she i thought you like embrace it they were calling each other like her and yak yak or the banger sisters and i was like oh that's so cute so cute did you see that yak yak that's got probably... a reading from emperor ziggy today tb Ooh. No, I did not see that. Mm -hmm. I have to go back and check. Mm -hmm. See, I'm not subscribed over there, so I don't really get any notifications from there. So I rely on people letting me know when something good happens, and then I'll, you know, maybe go check it out. But without and plus, my notifications are all screwy. I haven't been I've been getting notifications from two weeks ago. It's very strange. I sent I did a community post earlier. I don't know. Mine what's going does on. that sometimes. It's the too. Gatorade in the retro game. Yep. Yes, you know no. what I forgot to do? Ugh, I was so excited when I first went live. I forgot that I can give memberships away, can I? Oh, I'm going to do it. Yes, I did that today. No, let me it's do fun. It. Let me do it. Five at a time. Membership gifting. Just hit the... Five um, membership? Yep, hit that button. Yep, five at a time. Hold on. All right, are you guys Turn ready? Everybody on. get your buttons on. Oh, I gotta buy it too. Okay, okay. Google. No, you don't. You shouldn't well, have know, to buy but it. It's, uh, it, it should it's just... new to me. It just makes me through the Google thing. There it goes. Oh, weird. It work. Manifest it, Haven. Manifest oh. it. JBT got one. Breeze got one. Studio headphones. New Jersey, Robin. <sighs> Georgette, welcome. <laughs> you hear Haven? JBT fucking got it. Haven was trying to manifest it and it didn't happen. <laughs> but I'm going to do five more. I'm going to do five more. I guess they give you 10, which is incredible. Thank, shout out to YouTube for doing that for creators because it's a great way. And welcome to the new members. I'm going to be having a members only live stream. Coming welcome, out. new members. Right. Am I still here? You're still here. I was gone for a second. Yeah, I just add you back. I just, I, good thing it like lets you know as a beep because I wouldn't look over there and see you for a minute when you came up a minute ago. I didn't see you. <laughs> well, see, um, you know a lot more than I do. I don't know what the heck's going on. Let's just be honest. Like, I have right. no idea. I'm here, but I'm not I mean, here and I can't see the chat. Look, what, I don't know. look what's going on on the screen. <laughs> Which I'm on my phone now. Like, oh, I have you the can't laptop open. It. No, I can't. I, I have the, this laptop open that I don't know how to work. Mm -hmm. It's not my laptop. I'm just borrowing it. Oh, the chat popped up on the laptop. But the pro anyway, there's a lot of problems. I won't get into all the problems, but there's I just I don't know what I'm doing. Let's just be honest. Right? I'm not tech savvy. Oh, uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna play we're gonna play this love story and we're gonna talk about it. Yes. Yeah. It's fucking like hilarious. Okay. I'm gonna mute for a minute and then just okay. let me know when it's time so to So we talk. talked like all I've right. been I've been to Tennessee several times, but before they before both of them went to jail, because Fred went to jail in June of 2023 and Laura went to jail a few days after for simple possession. Um, Laura did anyways. And um, but before then, I had been down to Tennessee three times and each time I had been. I had talked, went down there and talked to them like. Several times and we. The for after the first time, so from the from January 2022 to June of Thank you, Black Belt, babe. It's good to see you, love. Thank you so much. Too. 
we didn't talk because <laughs> we didn't talk. I didn't have a phone number or any way to get a hold of him. But after June of 2022, we had uh, slowly started like talking through Facebook. That's when. Shining, thank you so much. Eve is a member. KB is a member. Michelle, who else? Rocco and Haven got her got her membership. Haven got her membership. Thank you, Shining. That was really sweet of you. Thank you. Hi, Kiko. Long time no see. Look, TP's in her screen is black. I'm gonna drop her because I feel like her camera might be on that the retrograde can make really bad things happen. And I don't want to do that. I think our, both of our internets are just not wanting to cooperate. Yes. Congrats to all the new members. Thank you. Thank you so much. Fred, let me know like he could be reached through Facebook. Still, it was like very few and far between. It was hard to get a hold of them and everything. Oh my gosh, Bugsy. But Bugsy, do you know that the shirt, oh, look at who's getting memberships. The shirt I'm wearing tonight. You know the shirt I'm wearing tonight. Fuck yeah, Bugsy. I love you. Thank you so much. Welcome to the new members. <laughs> TPE, I'm so sorry. I feel so bad. I feel like I almost didn't make it live either. And it's cool. At least one of us is up here to carry this because this is out of control. And, but the chat, you guys are amazing. Thank you, Precious Chaos. Thank you. I love you too, Julie Buxy. Sorry. Love you so much. <clears throat> about six months before they went to jail, June of 2023 is when I started even getting like, where we start talking more regularly with all, uh, it was always in the same messenger. So it wasn't like I would talk to Fred and one and Laura and another. We, Laura was usually using his like message, message. The job, you know what? You guys are going to do this to me. Stop that. Quit being like that. Thank you. <laughs> I love you. I think about all the time how <clears throat> without this crazy lunatic that we're watching right now, we wouldn't all be friends now. And we really are. And this last three months has been a lot for me. And all of you have been there for me. Fuck yeah, she is, Akuna. Fuck yeah, she is. How's Lolo? I just missed you guys. Sure. Um, if, like, a lot of times it would be her, like, responding. Her voice was shaking more than me. Like, she, she seemed like she was really, really nervous to tell. And I have my own opinion of why. Um... But yeah, Barbie on the West Coast. Hey, girl. It's a great day. You're back. I missed you so much. I'm still sick, but listening in the background. Love you, girl. I'm so happy to see you. I was thinking about you the other day. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. I want to hear that one. Let's see if we can play it. I know you're my fucking biggest fan, bitch. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. <laughs> I hope y'all can at least hear the videos. We can't see them. But thank you. And thank you for all the support. Um, but when, let's see, I'm trying to think here. <laughs> I'm, I'm fine guys like i think more people yeah people are more worried than i am about it uh 
but this is the truth and this is like and if you want to take it from other people like share then you know feel free to turn it into some kind of something super salacious and exciting but um it's not as exciting as what people think salacious <laughs> salacious is not even in the top 10 of words that came to my mind when I knew what you were saying. <laughs> Not even in the top 10, girl. I don't know. Everybody let me know in the chat what words came to mind. Please. <laughs> but it will be turned into something, I'm sure. So, but when they went to jail... I did everything to try to, I felt so bad for Laura because I was like, I still hadn't understood like their living situation quite yet. See when they first, I still was like, I didn't realize how much they actually stayed down at 165 and like 207 was more like. Cindy, you know what? I feel the same way. The only way I can do it is with friends. So we're going to do it together. Okay. I know that Ziggy thinks that we all watch her like we're all just watching. She even mentions that, you know, she gets a, a cash app from an old friend. She mentions that today. Um, but Ziggy, no. Um, I, I'm with these people and we don't. We really don't. You're just... Uh, I'm in an alternate universe and things are so messed up. That's my thoughts. Right. Like this. It, yikes. Big yikes. The drug, the drug den or whatever. 165 is more where they stay. It was a nice house and uh, Wi-Fi over there. Mm, Wi-Fi. By the way, the tank top that she's wearing, she was wearing that while she was in Tennessee. She was still wearing it when she got on the flight and she was still wearing it when she landed. Four or five days she wore that thing. So, what was I, where was I going with that? I didn't have even still a very clear until me and Fred started like talking when he was in jail was when I really um realized even more like how much he had been painted like as somebody he's totally not um but you want me when Fred to went to jail when Ziggy really knew I'm gonna show you when she knew right here way back here Huh? Take me to what Harry knew is dear bones. I feel like I've answered this question before and that you're just trying to be a pain. <laughs> I'm sorry. But I will say it again. Thank you, he, Barbie. What he knew was dear bones. He said he knew what part of them were dear bones. But think about it. If you wanted to hide, hide bones. First of all, all these bones were crushed up. Somebody had crushed up all these bones and threw them out there. Yes, there was some deer bones in there, he said, but he didn't know if they were all deer bones, okay? So that's why it was called in, mm. because we weren't sure if it was all deer bones. Of course, he knew, like, he he's like, yeah, I knew that part of them were deer bones. These were crushed up. People don't understand it. Was it wasn't just like bones, like throw, you know, like an animal died there, and it's just no. That's not what happened. They were crushed up bones everywhere. There was hardly any bones that you could actually make out what part of the body they were. There was only one part, like where the mandible, you could see a mandible, and part of the teeth, and that's that's the only type or what we were able to see that was deer. He's not gonna be able to tell if all the bones are deer bones with them all crushed up and scattered everywhere. I mean, come on, use your brain. Come on, use your brain. Come on, you guys know what I did? 
Let me tell you here what I did. So the memberships that I gave out earlier, the five, I actually paid for those. So we have 10 more coming. Um, I'm going to give five now. Woohoo. And then I'm going to give five more. Welcome, precious. Welcome, mama. Welcome, silent angel, madhouse, and guilty till proven innocent. I'm about to do it again. Yeah, I bought those first five. I knew I did. I messed up, but that's okay. Welcome, new members. Buttercup, Pauline, Elizabeth, Betty, Dippy Escapes. Welcome. Hell yeah. Fuck yeah. Really, everything is in the microwave tonight. <laughs> and you guys all helped. We were all so worried about Laura, okay? Because we knew Laura was going to be like screwed because she was very dependent on Fred. Um, both of them are on um, some kind of like disability or something. But, and I don't, I don't think I realized that at the time that she was getting money, um, but it was okay. I still knew that she would be out lost, um, but she did end up staying, you know, finding somebody What's to stay it, with, like Carl? a friend to stay with or whatever. But a few days after Fred went to jail, Laura gets arrested with no no other than Brandon Clark, I believe. Is okay, his name. here's the thing. At the time when Fred went to jail, Ziggy <laughs> capitalized off that. And I want to let you guys know, it's like Ziggy's favorite pastime is to email and chirp what we call chirp with inmates. She loves that loves it so much so that she's actually been blocked from jails and inmates from talking with them more than one that I can prove. She loves it. Pearl is not fibbing. No, she, Pearl will not fib you. She won't lie to you. Monica. Hello. All about it. You already know Barbie. That is exactly what everything boils down to. Um, once she knew that Fred Hill lit up that cash shop, that was it. That was it. Love. The guy who was Some um, call it on JR's video, um, the one that was going through the woods and stuff. Laura was with that dude when um, she got arrested. Ew, are you serious, dire wolf? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah, that Brandon, exactly. Nothing weird going on with them as far as I know, it was Laura and Brandon. It was just like they just happened to be together, and I think there was somebody else with them. I don't know. But she got Laura got arrested. It was basically the only other time she's been arrested besides her. I mean, she hadn't been arrested in forever. People don't understand that like, they're not like the criminals that you guys think. Um, she hadn't been arrested in like 20 years at that point or something crazy. They're not the criminals that you all think. They're not. Um, Fred Hill's a criminal who's on nine years of felony parole right now. Ziggy. Who the fuck are you kidding? He just went to, he went to jail and was charged with having a drug job. I, I don't even, where are we? Friday Ziggy's Gypsy Roads, pretty much. In six months, Fred will have Piggy out selling her ass for drugs. Well, that would be awful. I hope that that does not happen. I hope that if she wanted to do something like that, that it would be on her own free will. Um, OnlyFans is a thing that her and Fred could definitely prosper with. They definitely have a fan base. That's for sure. <laughs> Can't pay a bill. But can I, there you go, Jab. I, I guess she mentioned today, I was not in there, I did not hear it, that rent is late and due and all that, just like every other fucking month. Since the beginning of time. Hmm. 
Why does she announce every PayPal cash app she gets? Is it to guilt everyone else to fault? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Strange they picked up Ricky Crawford, Wild Bill, and a few others. I wonder why. Yuck. So it was weird, you know, right when Fred went to jail, literally like three days after she's in jail. And uh, yeah, her rent and Fred's, Fred's rent got paid today, which is close to $200 a week. Um, I want to reiterate to everybody. I don't know if anybody's heard me or seen me in chats for the last little while. Fred is not in a rehab. He never was. He went directly into a sober living. He is in treatment per his parole. Because if you're in treatment for drugs, they or in court for drugs, they make you be in some kind of treatment, but he's not in a rehab. He's in a sober living. That's what they're paying for him to stay there. It's what your the piggies are paying for. Excuse me. Piggies are paying for that. I don't know how long she was in there, but when she gets out, she goes back to stays with that friend so we thought or whatever and i did everything i could to try to get actually her to no gemini it's not a halfway um you know like some states have like halfway three quarter ways that they have sober livings so sober livings are where people move it you have a, your own apartment you usually share it with so many people and you pay rent and you you have to be in a treatment program and most people are on parole or just got out of jail and don't have somewhere to go. And they're already in a treatment program. So they get referred to the facility. They're all over there. And that's, I'm not saying that it's a bad thing. It's a great thing. It's great that he's in sober living. Absolutely. But he's not in rehab. And he was not. Involved. And with Fred and stuff. And she just didn't seem interested. Like, I pretty much had to do everything. Like, if anything got done. And right there is why, in my opinion, things are going to be bad for you, girl. Um, from experience, let me tell you that if an addict does not do their things on their own, well, I guess you'll find out. I... Don't see it ending well. I'll say that. I mean, she did send his money and stuff like that. I think she was really depressed. I think she's dealing with depression and stuff. This is not, a am not going to be bashing Laura. No you, matter think, what, even if she you think that she might be dealing with depression and stuff. Let me tell you from experience and that's something Ziggy should know. Somebody who has 20 plus years of active addiction on hardcore substances uh, and lives in a toxic, codependent, abusive relationship. Of course she has mental health issues. Of course she does. And she should absolutely not be mentioned at all. But you couldn't help yourself. You couldn't help but blame her. It's pretty fucked up. Comes on and talks crap about me or whatever. I won't be going there because... I really did think of her as a friend. All right, Stephanie. So yeah, we were really, I was, oh my gosh, me and Kathy and some of you guys, a few of you guys, others really tried to help her out. Um, really tried to uh, put her, like, I would be like, hey, like they hadn't talked. Well, I just went back and watched the video today 
of when Laura went up on Ziggy's panel. And, uh, and it's really bothering me that you keep saying that she was your friend. Because you were talking to her man the entire time. They were there. They were what you would say would be the worst time of their lives. You were making sure that you had Fred cut off from her and you were talking to him. Wow. Hey, Chronicles of the Shady. Hey, Frenchie. Wow, let's low Ziggy. This woman has been treated for cancer or depression. So you thought you would move in on her man, her weakest point. That you know what I think? I think, I think, Laura, I hope that you're protected and that you stay far away from these fucking dangerous criminals. Move on with your life and flourish because it's not going to be good for them. She is nobody's friend. How about put that money up for your, her child's education or savings? Mm, right. What has she taught that child so far? Fucked for forever. And I would be like, hey, um, Laura, why don't you call tonight? Fred's going to call it this time. You should call it this time, you know, at the same time so you guys can talk. You know, it's not exactly... Le or well, it's not illegal, but it's it's not ex it's against the rules in jail, really, to do those three way type car calls. But and I you were perfectly willing to do that. I did a live stream where I talk. We all talked about how you put that man's life at risk. Both of you, he did it. Too. I mean, he did it too, all because he knew that he was going to get money for ramen and shit. So fucked up. really 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 trying to because she didn't really have like a set phone number she always has those text texting phone numbers and stuff and it just made it difficult with how the jail phones are set up now you have to like like make accounts and you have to add your, it's it's it can be um yeah i tried to help them communicate i even tried to get her to uh meet kathy or have kathy was gonna pick her up and take her for a visit she just never she would it, she would just always like i don't know she just did not she one time she actually called me and she was like you know asking me to take care of fred if anything happened to her and stuff like that and and it was, it was strange. She said she had, you know, health problems and she didn't know how long she was going to be around. I thought it was odd, but I didn't think anything. I, I was like, okay. Me and Fred never had anything like romantic or anything like that at all. Like people, <laughs> you know, but after June, of 2023 is when I think that we started getting closer and Laura just kind of dropped off from the face of the planet and um, came to find out she had been staying with another guy. Um, she, had, but anyways, and it's not, I'm not trying, it's not an attack on her at all. <clears throat> Yeah, it would be great if she, but that's what, I mean, that's what she does, Nikki. <laughs> that's what she does. Shut the fuck up, bone collector. <laughs> Can you be more gross? It's unbelievable. Change the outfit. It smells like mixed fluids of tuber frame, but yeah, it does. Yep. I, I'm in it, but I might need more. Um, yeah. 11-11, as she laughs at the ceiling. 
my heart hurts for her daughter. Yeah. Homewrecker is definitely um, another word that came to mind. Maybe she was staying wherever she could to roof over her head. Absolutely. Absolutely. If I had to guess, that'd probably be exactly what it was. It really is. I always knew like Fred had feelings for me. He's had feelings for me for a while. I knew it. Um, but I always. She knew it. <laughs> Just like she knew. He's like just i did not go there i made sure like he knew that we were friends and and stuff like that but he didn't ever ever say anything like never i could tell like the way he, he just i mean he didn't ever say anything inappropriate to me or anything ever come on to me never then why would you have to let him and remind him that you're friends <laughs> why um, but I could still tell that he had a little crush on me. Um, he didn't even, he wouldn't go. He's just, when he's in a relationship, that's just how he is. And at that time, even though him and Laura didn't know, it didn't seem like, like anything was happening there. <laughs> uh, like she still, I mean, they've been using together for like 20 years and it's kind of kept them both. stagnant and not being able to progress. <clears throat> really? Thank you, Frenchie. Thank you so much. We're going to take a little break and go over here and uh, check out what Prayer Garden had to say about what song she picked for Friggy, Ziggy and Fred. And then I'm going to play the song that I picked. Boy, is it Thank beautiful. Thank you again, Frenchie. Boy, is it beautiful. I definitely picked, I definitely picked the right colors. Absolutely. Um, I was astonished at how beautiful it has turned out. Absolutely. It's amazing. Um, <laughs> Ziggy will need a rocking chair. <laughs> he might. <laughs> Pam, she might. I don't know. <laughs> right? I don't know. But I did, you know, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised about Ziggy. I'm not surprised that her and Fred is, you know, hooked up. Right? I'm not surprised at all. And, you know, congratulations. Absolutely. Congratulations, you know, to, to Ziggy and Fred, right? Here you go. The beautiful, happy couple right there, right? Beautiful, happy couple right there. Um, I say congratulations, right? I mean, uh, I know, I know, I know Fred's, you know, I know Fred's song, you guys. I know Fred's. I know the song Fred's been singing, right? I know it. You guys want me want me to share it with you? You want me to share his song with you? That he was singing? That he'd been singing? Oh, you guys do. You do. You guys want me to, to share the song that Fred's been singing. He was, I know it. I know it for real. What is it, Prayer Garden? Right. Absolutely. What Congrats to him. Congrats. Yeah. Absolutely. I'm going to tell you, Fred, Fred's song he was singing over the over the past few, well, couple of years, right? The last couple of years. I, let me, let me. <laughs> yeah, Kim says yes. Do, do tell, PG. Yeah. Well, let me tell you. Um, Fred's song was. The hardest thing I ever had to do <laughs> right. is holding her and loving you. 
All right. <laughs> there you go, y'all. That's what he. Yeah. I mean, Prayer Garden just underhanded called you a home wrecking whore. <laughs> Laura's going to have a tale to tell. I thought about it and I thought about what song? What song? Hold on. We'll give him a good, sexy one. This is real love. Hold on. I'm going to give it to him. I'm going to make it. This is their song. I'm going to show when I met you, woman, Ziggy Love Face. I this. couldn't help but notice a face so beautiful. Now imagine the faces you would make. We ever made love. And you walked outside mm -hmm. Just keep hugging them thighs And the only thing inside my mind is mm -hmm. I want you Yes I do And if it's anything you suggest I do Tell me Now we all in the crib on my sofa Girl I'm so glad you came over I wanna tell you come closer But I don't know if you feel Like I feel Ziggy love faces. It shouldn't matter to anybody on social media. It shouldn't, but for some reason it does. So, and the fact that uh, Fred is, you know, so Fred was really like he was telling her he was like you know. And she straight up told him like, and she came up on my panel back in June and said that they weren't together. If you guys don't remember, it was on there and everything. Um, she said it like he had no idea. I, in order for him to know this, I had, you know, it had to be relayed. I didn't have the heart to freaking tell him for a while. And there it is. It had to be relayed. I know, Ziggy, we're going to fast forward. We're going to fast forward to when she shows, tells it, See. tell it. I know you are, Shady. I, I know you, you are. Something. If I could figure out how to share screens on here. <laughs> Tango. Um. So, yes. <laughs> oh, my God. That was... Um, yeah, yesterday at Kathy's before I left, there's a lot of other weird things that have ha happened since, I mean, the way we met the, it's, it's really, 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 really crazy guys. I can't even, there's so much to this. <clears throat> so many of you guessed and have texted me and stuff. And I just like would kind of throw, I would just like. Kind of put it all, you know. Hey, Duchess. thank you, that girl, and thank you guys. Um, and I wouldn't, and I know people are gonna be like, "Oh my God, he's a suspect!" Oh my God, See, he's oh my God, <laughs> yeah. I mean, yes. Business in the front, party in the back, baby. Oh, mouth, these lips. Mm. Y'all, I had to go back and look and see, like, what content I had of uh, the history. Like, the Fred and Ziggy. Like, what do I have? What did I play? Hmm. It's really interesting. It's 
a really nice guy. Correct. It's a great guy. But it was never me. I know people are going to also be like, oh, well, that's why she freaking. Thank you, defended KK. Defended him so hardcore. Welcome, no, love. I defended him so hard hardcore because he's always been honest and he's seriously. Oh, the cash app. I don't care if then you believe me or not. You can believe Out me. of control. And why did she say if people believe me? What do you mean? It, the truth will come out. Oh my God. But he's literally like the best person I've ever met. He is a really, oh really good person. My fucking God. <laughs> wow. Mm -mm -mm. Yep. She got a dog and a man to exploit Summer. Yay, her. Summer brought them together, Chronicles of the Shady. That is a direct quote from Ziggy. Summer brought them together. And he's been labeled uh he's been labeled as something that so not fucking so. desperate and that was all because all of them all of them are fred is this oddball on that road okay like don candace all them like all of them pretty much talk fred's kind of the oddball mm. Black Belt Babe, this is the same person who said Jim died to send her a message about Jason. She is the worst. Who just did that? Thank you, KK. Welcome to all the new members. Thank you so much, KK. Look, I'll play this for KK. Hold on. This community is a joke. Me and Tang have seen it. Corn beef smoking folks. Me and Tang have seen it. Tabby was caught telling lies. Jenna will just dox your life. It's true. Cause me and Tang have seen it. I heard Bullhorn Betty has a weed. Hey, proud marine mom. It's just one more thing me and Tanga seen. Chris got a new car, but where, where? did her kid go? Six up knows the most, so we'll just call her Google. Pearl is always on their mind. She's the best and they know that it's true. Cause me and Tanga seen it. They all, it was like almost they kind of all worked together in a way to try to make, pin it on him. Now, was was he involved in drugs? Yes. You know? I would never be with somebody if I wasn't absolutely hey, Kim. sure. I would, I would never. And let's. Never is not a good word to say. <laughs> How did she get on the airplane without an ID? Well, she has an ID. Get an identification without having a license. I heard that, by the way. While I was gone, my friends let me know. Hey, Six, did you know that uh, Ziggy don't have a license or a car? Or, but she got a man now. She's got a whole man. Say it did come out that he lied about anything. To, oh, 
it would, you know, like I've said before, if it, you know, lying about this, anything to do with the Summer Wells case, that's like a big no-no for me. Huge no-no. I don't know if there would be any coming back from something like that. Job? Neither of them have a job. And she thinks that he's going to be living with her in another state in four months. Well, he better start that interstate compact and get a fucking job. Right, Fred? He better get married. I mean, is she going to is she going to stream the wedding, guys? Because we know she's going to. So what's the date? What's the date going to be? Are we going to have a summer wedding or... And from my day, I know like Laura is with somebody else and all that, but it's her business. And <sighs> I've been way too happy. <laughs> it is a true love story. You guys have no idea, like a freaking movie could be written about everything that's happened since the day we met like you guys we met on january 11th yes frenchie yes 11 11 it would be so perfect oh yeah for sure completely grifted all the way down to the rental that they have to get to get home because neither have a license Of 2022, Uber, we found I mean, out. You know how can't get a rental. 111, get 1111, an every fucking where? We met on January 11th of 2022. His birthday is 1111. I freaking was seeing 1111 yeah. everywhere. 111, 111, 1111. Um, Kathy lives off 11. It's like, uh, I see every single time I see it, I call, tell you guys, it does give him a great motive to continue his sobriety because I can't be around that. You know, I'm not having that in my life and he knows that and he is not having it in his life either. So, uh -huh. <laughs> and Fred is watching. If I had one question for Ziggy, somebody asked me recently, I would, I'd ask, why do you have that big torch in your living room on the table right next to you? Do you craft, Ziggy? Are you crafting with that torch? A card reader predicted this. She said a new man was going to enter life. Do you remember? I you hope so, well, kind of. Well, everybody. Really? Literally. I'm literally. Everybody. Every person ever. I mean, I know people thought that we got along really well and, and clicked, but RJ, now not him specifically, but RJ timed it and everything. When like, she makes. He contacted me. Like that. Um, I don't know how long ago it was like, but it was exact about the, I mean, the timing lines up. He messaged me and let me know privately that he saw me getting into a relationship in six months. And the person is going to be, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be shocked because I, it's going to be somebody completely different than anybody I've dated before. And that I wouldn't expect it. And it was about six months later um, where we were actually, you know, to a couple or whatever. Um, I never, I never imagined this happening. So, you know, it was definitely not something planned. He never was inappropriate towards me anyway. Nothing ever happened. Yeah, she's mentioned that being an inappropriate thing a bunch of times. 
Remember when the mermaid told her she was going to chase? Yes. Uh-huh. Yes, Kim, you didn't know. I love when somebody first finds out. Isn't love beautiful? Look at it, Kim. Oh, my God. This was her thumbnail, minus the, the 50 Shades of Friggy. She posted herself, her thumbnail today. After she came at, this was the live stream yesterday. This was her thumbnail. A picture of her in bed naked with Fred. That, that was her thumbnail today. Anyway at any, like we didn't, we didn't, nothing. I mean, no flirting, nothing. I'm one of those, if you're in a relationship and if you have somebody like I'm, you're just, I don't even go there. Plus that wasn't even in my mind. You know, that lifestyle was so different than something I would ever be interested in. And it was so, my life was so different. Um, but it's almost like, that's why I feel so strongly. I mean, it just feels like it was meant to be. And I, I feel like the only thing left to the story would be to find Summer, you know, figure out what happened to Summer. And once that happens, I could leave this channel and go on to my merry way, onto my tarot. Once that happens, huh? Then you can leave. <sighs> oh my God. No. Tomorrow will be the photo of her thigh bruises from bumping uglies with Fred. Yeah, probably in that same tank top, too. We know how thirsty Ziggy is. She's probably the one who chased him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I heard that uh, that means, I mean, if the jerks are here and it's okay for me to announce it, how it's official. Um, no more kudu. The curse is over. It's done. That is a good picture taken. And that was taken by Kathy's son. And it is good enough to put in a picture frame. Maybe Tanga can write a song about it, Black Belt Babe. Um... Well, RJ didn't say exactly who, but he, uh, he, he called it. Um, it's broken. Yeah, it was no more curse on the ball. I can't explain how it all happened. It was never, uh, even a thought in my mind. I mean, I knew we always connected, like I knew we clicked, you know, but really Fred's a very qu quiet guy, unless you know him and then he won't freaking shut up. And it's like, <laughs> I'm just teasing him because he's listening. Oh my God. He likes, he really likes that to, to, you know, pick on me, aggravate and annoy me. Truth warrior, say it with your chest. <laughs> so to the few who knew um which very i mean there was only a guys i literally told like nobody only like so now they can talk about it <laughs> oh we're gonna talk about it breeze it's good to be back i love you <clears throat> Oh, you know what, Kiko? It, it, I agree with that statement. She doesn't know him. She knows a version of him that, like, all abusers are the way they are in the beginning. It's called a love bomb. Have fun with that. Just and when they say it happens when you least expect it that's Everybody true because knew. i would have never ever ever in a million years uh expected this stop um 
And I worry about Laura, you know, I do. I worry about her. You worry about um, her. Don't you have enough to worry about? Huh. It's uh, completely inappropriate. I want her to, you know, be okay too. I mean, of course, she's not happy. I, from what I hear, she's it, it's upsetting her uh, to her. But at the same time, like, and I'm not going to defend myself a million times over and over. But at the same time, she really was like, it's almost like she wanted us to be together. I can't even freaking explain. Hmm. <clears throat> Clean it until it actually happened. How long ago? I don't want to. Ridiculous. Plus, like I said, I don't really. We're going to skip even, forward a little bit. I'm really over the community as it is, anyways. Like, once this case, once she's. Once it's. Once we figure out what happened to Summer, once we know, like I said. I'm going to be completely moved over to my other channel. Um, she um, is not all at all worried about it. Like doesn't seem bothered at all. And yeah, I'm not even shocked. I was going to say Ziggy worries about nobody but herself, but she doesn't even worry about herself. She just expects everyone else to do it for her. Are you kidding me right now? It's almost as if Laura wanted you to sleep with her man. Right. It's completely, you can actually, I mean, I'm not, I'm not going to do that. I just can't. There's no way that she's giving up on her. I mean, Come on, guys. I'm not going to even bring up, like, the fact that... <clears throat> Does anybody really believe that she's just going to go over to Empress Ziggy and go away? Hmm. Some real help. Hey, Dynamite. Good to see you. No, she's not going to give up her channel, though. It's never going to happen. I'm going to fast forward quite a bit because um, I'm not going to be on here all night. Yes, September Virgo. I just saw your but, email. Yeah. Shit, I meant to say, uh, Fred got that package today. And thank you so much. He was, uh, when I was talking to him earlier. He I do want to mention, though, because I don't know if I'll get to play it tonight. But I will clip it. I will upload it. God, it's good to be back. Of when she says that now Fred says, it's a new one, guys. <clears throat> Trigger warning. Fred says that the Randalls down the road had hogs and they slaughtered them that year, that season. So that may be where summer is. Ziggy says that. Just wait for the inferno of drama when other Krama channels start pointing the finger at Fred again as a suspect. She will lose her shit every time. Disrespectful in my opinion, posting a photo of them in bed. I agree. Oh, the other day uh, I was listening. Uh, somebody sent him like 70 pounds of food. Um... She's had to help him figure out how to get his, his, his benefits, which makes no sense to me because a grown ass man, his age should be able to figure it out, especially one that's been to jail. Um, the shit's insane to me what these people believe and fall for. Um, but go ahead, keep enabling these fools and I mean, give them all your money. 
what can I say at this point? Give it all to them. He was um, unpacking it and putting the stuff up. Thank you so, so much. So it, it is the real life tragedy opera, you know, soap opera. Absolutely. Eve, yes. See? The truth is always, it's just always bad. The truth is always best way to go. I just was waiting for the right time. Oh, the truth. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, they had the possum. Thank you, Sepsis. He is a really good guy. Uh, she knows karma. He told her. He told her uh, a couple months ago. How long have we been official, official, like a couple since, since uh, Valentine's Day? Since, uh, <clears throat> I don't know if you all believe that, um, like as far as when they were really together, I don't really care. But what I do want to do is take a little break and play this video from Tia. I don't know if you all are subbed up to Tia. Let me grab this link, actually. But she is great. And I'm going to play this. And we're going to talk about it, too. Well, hello, darlings. It's Miss Tia. Boy, howdy. Looks like Ziggy done blew up the YouTube streets today. Now, was anybody really, really surprised? I mean, because I think we all know what what been going on. I mean, like, like, I knew that I knew. But then, you know, like, you ever be like, you, you know something, you think you know something, and then, like, you find out, like, that it's for real, for real, and then you're like, that's for real? Oh, my. Oh, my goodness. Like, you, like, you really shocked, even though I you already knew. Because, like, I kept waiting for her to come and be like, it's all a big joke, because, like, everybody had been teasing about that. So, I thought that's what she's going to do. She's going to, you know, come back and say it's all a big joke. But, oh, no, that girl, she be serious. I mean, she's serious. Ziggy in love. And you know, this is what I got to be thinking about. Like, you know, because then I start thinking about, like, you know, Fred, he was living with that Laura lady. Like, you know, Ziggy had her on her channel a couple of times. And, like, so, like, I, like, I guess they wasn't really married, but, like, they've been together for, like, 20 years and they got children together and stuff. And, like, I'd, like, I don't know, but, like, so I start be worrying about her, like, you know, like, I feel bad for Laura. And and I was wondering, like, if Laura be like, Ziggy, 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 I'm begging of you, please don't take my man. That's what I be wondering, if Laura be singing that. But no, Ziggy say no, Laura, Laura doesn't move in with some. But Ziggy says no since February. But what about the time she went to Tennessee and stayed all night with Fred's? That was long before February. Mm -hmm. I would think a, 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 it would probably at that point, it was just a party, you know? Just a little party on the hill. Somebody, she living with some guy. So I'm like, oh, well, well, I, I don't know. But that, that be, that just, I don't know, like, you know, you, you like, that's kind of weird, like, you friends with a couple, you know, that they, and they together when you're friends with them, and then, like, all of a sudden, you with the, you with their man, or, like, what? It's weird. Y'all think that's weird? I don't know. Miss Tia thought that was kind of be weird, but it is what it is, I guess. And, you know, if people in love, I guess, you know, you should be happy for them, I mean, you know. Everybody deserves to have love and be happy, I guess. Just, 
just kind of weird, like, to how the whole story play out. Like, like this is what I'd be thinking about. Like, okay, so, you know, like, no offense, Ziggy, because, you know, but, honey, like, you a little gullible. And so, that, you know, that's make people on these streets sometimes be worried about you. Because, like, uh, sometimes, you know. Miss Tia, I don't think she's as gullible as people think she is. Mm -mm. I think she's way less gullible. She just plays that on TV. Pretty much. No, the curse is over, Nikki. It's over. Like, you might believe stuff that other people are like, uh, no. No, ma'am, that, 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 that's not true. And so, like, the stuff, like, you know, like, because Fred done said a lot. He said a whole lot of stuff. Before. Like, the math monkeys. Like, come on, Z. Like, for real. And then, like, the whole deal with the bones. Like, for real. And then, like, you know, like, one time he say one thing and the next time, like, it's different. Like, I don't know. But this is the one thing that really, really gets me. It's okay. So, like, that. remember that time she went to, she went to Tennessee? I think it would be the first time. And so she go to meet Fred. Well, she, so she go meet Fred the first day, and it was like late at night or something. But then she come back Welcome. the second day, and she she had her little girl with Kitty her, boo. her daughter. She told her she had to sit boo. in the car. Hello. Well, and then she was telling Fred like you know like she she wouldn't bring her daughter like around people, but like she could tell he was a good guy. And about the time she say. You know, she could tell, you know, he was a nice guy. He was like, he started talking about, remember that time I, that's when I shot that dude? <laughs> like, that remember that time I shot that dude? Yeah, she knows what she's doing. Career criminal, scammer, in my opinion, for entertainment purposes, for educational, blah, blah, blah. Right. Allegedly. Allegedly, she's a home wrecking whore. Uh, the curse is over. The curse of the restraining order is over, too. Good times ahead for jerks and sucks up. But always. And Tia, too. I love Tia, guys. Please go sub up to her. First clue. I would have been, mm, okay, thank you. Goodbye. But no, no, no. And, I mean, you know, he didn't get no charges. It was supposed to, it was self-defense or whatever. But, you know, like, I just don't know if that would be, like, the first thing I would expect to come up in one of the first conversations we'd be having. But I guess, you know, it's good to be honest. And so he was honest about that part, I guess. So, yeah. So then I start thinking, like, okay, like, how, like this is just hypothetical. All right? You know, Miss T is just, I'm just thinking, like, how you tell this what you're going to tell your parents? Like, what do you say? And I know Z grown. She grown. She in her 40s, she say. So, you know, she don't need no approval from nobody. Girl, do you. Do you. But I be thinking, like, how you tell your family? Like, you tell your mama and your dad. Okay, so, like, <laughs> see, what had happened was I was... <laughs> you see how my checking and savings is set up. How do you guys think she's going to tell... She, you think she's told them? You think she's going to tell her parents? She did his family tree, by the way. I don't know if we'll, we'll hear that part because I did fast forward because I want to listen to Tia. But uh, she said, I did his family tree, guys. She did the whole thing. I in this true crime case and I had made a YouTube channel. And it's just saying my real name, I called it Ziggy. So now my name is Ziggy. Everybody call me Ziggy. And, and see what had happened is, is I was following this case. And so I decided I was going to go to Tennessee where the little girl was from. And then, so like, um, I went there and then that's where we got the dog. You know, the dog, Athena, we got, yeah, that's what we got the dog from there. And from her parents, that was, that was like the dog from the little girl's house. And then, like, I had to meet the parents at the church. And then, like, we went to the, to the Wendy's. And, and then, and then, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Mom, Dad, I forgot to tell you all this part. So, see, what had happened was I, I went in to talk to her neighbor. And so I go talk to her neighbor, and um, his name be Fred. And, he, and so then I just keep on talking to them. And, you know, we talk on the phone, him and his, his, his woman, Laura, and we be talking on the phone. And then... Well, Fred, Fred got arrested. Um, he, he got arrested for selling meth. 
Yeah, yeah. But but he don't do that no more. He got clean when he was in jail. And so I keep on talking to him while he was in jail, and I was just like, I start falling in love with him. And 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 then the Lord, that she would left, be and she went, she went to go live with some amazing. I think you would tell the best story. Does his family tree fork asking for a? Uh, <laughs> I wonder if Superintendent Indiana State Police Douglas Carter has been informed about the future Hoosier Hoodlum, Fred Hill. This would be interesting. Well, I'm going to tell you this. This is what I will mention. If uh, Ziggy and Fred think that the state of Tennessee is going to let him just move to Indiana because Ziggy said so, she's insane. It's not going to happen. But when it does, I'm here for it. Somebody else. And, and so he was all by himself. And so I, I just, mom and dad, I, I'm in love with a man named Fred Jr. Hill mm. from Tennessee. That's what happened. I'm in love. And that's, you know, I fall in love on the YouTube streets and... That's just the way it is, and oh yeah, he gonna be coming live here. But first, we might need to get some money. Might have to start a GoFundMe uh -huh. so, so he can uh -huh. move to Indiana to uh -huh. live with me. Oh, you know what, y'all? You know what she said? She said that she was talking about getting married or something. People be talking about that. She said she was gonna start a GoFundMe for for her wedding, like like uh, Cher did. That's what she said. She gonna start a GoFundMe for her wedding. My word. Ziggy, slow down, honey. Slow it down a little bit. You know, I mean, sometimes I tell you, it just gets a little worrisome. I don't know. But, boy, I guess we, we all did know, huh? We did know. We knew. Ziggy was in love with Fred. Like, did we, uh, who, we ain't kidding nobody. Like, every time he'd be talking to her, he and we'd go to get off the phone, he'd say, I love you. And then she'd just be like, joke about it. Like, oh, he j we just friends. Girl, girl, bye. Uh uh. We know, we already knew. But I'm glad, you know, you, you come out with it and tell everybody so you don't have to be worrying about it anymore because you say you was worried about everything. You had to be careful what you say. So, you know, that's good. And if you're happy, that'd be good. Just be careful and don't be gullible. Mm -hmm. And listen, everyone gets clean in jail. Well, not everyone. This addiction's doing push ups waiting for his ass. Listen. She said, and I quote, for all those in recovery, she said, Fred will not relapse. So that's where we are. Um, and I hope that he, I hope he does not. But realistically, you will. And you need to be ready for that. You need to have a plan in place. And if you need help, you need to reach out, please. If you're doing it, I'm so fucking proud of you. I don't know what else to tell you, but I do know this. So it seemed like now Laura, she not be singing no more. Ziggy, 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 I'm begging of you, please <laughs> don't take my man. No, she not singing that no more. But. Fred and Ziggy be singing. We're going to the chapel and we're going to get married. Going to the chapel and we're going to get married. Yep, that what they be singing. Oof. I hope they don't do that too soon, though. Well, they can't do it too soon because he's still in the rehab place, right? Yeah, he, they got time. They got time. I tell you what, these streets be something else. They be something else. Whew. So, yep. Ziggy and Fred. Fred and Ziggy. Mr. Ziggy. Mrs. Fred. Mrs. Hill. Mrs. Friggy. She Hill. Friggy? <laughs> I don't know. I don't, what we call them now? Oh, my gosh. What we gonna gosh. call them? Tia, I love you. Lord have mercy. Ziggy and her man, that's what I'm going to say. Me too, Jenna. Ziggy and her man, that's what I'm going to be calling them. <laughs> All right. 
All right, darlings, well, I'm gonna get on off of here because, you know, these streets, man, they just wear you out. I tell you what. But, so that would be happening today. Ziggy in love. Fred in love. Ziggy and Fred in love. Lord, Lord help them. Whew. All right, darlings. Well, this tea gonna go now. But, you know, as always, I'll see you soon. Bye now. I guess. Oh, yeah, she, um, my daughter loves him. Thank you, Flaking Bullox. Thank you so much. Which, you know, my daughter hasn't been around him re recently. I'm not saying not the only times, like, she's actually, she hasn't even really actually met him, met him. Because the one time that she was out there. Um... <clears throat> so I did fast forward quite a bit, but we're to the point where she's talking a little bit about her daughter. Um not knowing Fred. Yeah, Dino, I'm so proud of you. Sharing and caring, good to see you. Um, she was in the vehicle. And um Yeah, but you, lo he, you love a man. They talked a lot on the phone, I'm like not. during FaceTime and stuff, like he's talking with her child. On FaceTime. Hmm. Good night, kid. I love you. Thank you, Jessica. Me and the kids will be on the beach tomorrow, by the way. I know, Jando. I don't know what to do. You. Eventually, I'm Every sure single probably, one of you it, it, I'm, there. I'm sure eventually. I, I don't know. Gosh, I don't even know how long I'm going to be on this channel. If if Summer, if we figured out what happened to Summer, like, today, I'm not saying today would be my last day, but definitely this week. <laughs> Think about how long I she see, kept this picture creepy. up, too. Oh, my God. Thank you, Selena. Uh, yeah. You know, my family's not a very, very, very close family. Hmm. Do you tell your family how you scammed? an entire community, a missing child community on YouTube. Cause I, I, I forgot a lot has happened in the one, one, three, 113 days. I did not stream Ziggy. Like your fake phone call with Lolita, our friend Lolita. I have to talk about that soon too. A little bit. There's the link, Chris. Hey, Tennessee Poppy. Hey, Buttercup. I was going to put this picture as our thumbnail, but then I was like, no, I need to explain things. <laughs> I know. I was like, I should have, I was kind of thinking I should probably have, uh, there's Chris. Hey, Chris. Hey Ziggy, how are you doing today? Uh, good. How are you? Not doing good. You're an ordained minister. You're not doing good, Chris. You have to. It's, we're gonna cheer so, you up. So, um, for people you. that don't know, this gentleman's name is Chris. Um, he's been telling Ziggy for like over a week, coming up on our panel, telling her he loves her. Um. The crowd cheers Ziggy on and thinks, wow, she's really uh, helping this person, this vulnerable person. Um, so when Chris found out that she was with Fred, 
that really broke his heart. Deets. Deets on the motherfucking streets is in my chat. It's good to be back. It's good to see you. I love you. Thank you so much. It's ironic. Thank you. I'm so glad you're here, Deeds. You're awesome. Try anyways. I Christy, I yeah, was thinking guys, right before I was like, should I should I uh Amazing. tell Christy first? Because I knew he would probably be like, What the hell? And hey Ziggy, I'm so happy for you. Oh you well, thank you, Chris. You deserve to be happy, and I hope you and Flair get married, and I will marry you guys. Look, are you a, are I you will not? agree with that. I think that everybody deserves to be happy, not ever feel like a burden, um, have their own peace. I absolutely am with that. I really do hope for the best. ordained minister i want to be i had no idea why why That's is she crazy, bringing up a, an ordained minister right now it's not how long can, even close how long have you guys been together well officially it is since valentine's day oh my god it's 4 11 oh my god oh my god so, you guys you guys look really cute together well thank you you guys oh, make a great couple, and I and I want to say something. Okay. It, it's going to make you laugh. What? Ziggy and Fred sitting in three. <laughs> K-I-S-S-I-N-G. Fuck. I'm so scared he's going to do something horrible on live. I'm glad his father blocked him. His father blocked What? Yeah, I'm not sure about him. Look. That is some unhealthy, uh, whew, makes me feel so very uncomfortable, but all the things there do, so it makes sense, right? <laughs> it's good to see you, Deeds. Marriage and babies, babies and weddings bring plenty of cash apps. All of them, all of your cash apps, please. Oh First my gosh, he just squealed. Oh, did y'all hear it? I just finish? we gotta listen just, to it again. S S I N G. First comes love. Are you I just, I just want to <laughs> I just want to tell you that. They're saying, oh, Chris can be the ring man. <laughs> I see you, see you, Nicolina. Yeah, I'm gonna not be on here for that much longer, but I definitely had to let talk to Chris a little bit. That was not so doing old. well. I've, I've been crying all day, but it's all right. Why? What's going on now? Is there something new going on, or is it just the same stuff? Just the same stuff. I, I, uh, I don't, I think people would be happier without me here. No way. For fuck's sake. Can we not? Can we not? Carrie? Do you want to lose your wrench? You'll lose it just as fast as you got it. <laughs> Same stuff. Yep. I know, right, Gemini? <laughs> Please, no babies. Please do not fucking procreate. That's quite the opposite. People would be... No, they'd be devastated. Um, planning a baby. I'm too old. I'm pretty sure I'm too old to have a baby. I'm 43. I now can you... adopt a kid for you. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. And you can have it. Oh my um, god. Carla Barnes 
Cotton didn't tell Fred where <laughs> Summer was. That's not what happened. People get it confused. He he acted. Cotton told him where he was going. Right, right. No, no, I don't miss him. He did. He did. Yeah, you do need a. You don't talk to somebody. No. You don't have a counselor or anything. Oh my God! I don't you have did a counselor, make but it. I. Hey, you baby. guys are kind of like my counselor. Oh no! Oh no! Please do not come to YouTube or any social media platform for therapy. Don't do that. Yeah. You and no. Smile, you're kind of like my counselor, Ziggy. You guys keep me alive right now, and I love you guys. Aww. There's a lot of people in the chat love you too, especially, you know, Chloe. Did you text her ever? I called her yesterday. She's actually going to call me uh, on Saturday. Oh, awesome. Yeah, she's very busy. And I'll be back I... here in a minute. I'm going to mute okay. myself for a minute. <laughs> I'm, do I'm doing. When I got pregnant with my last daughter, I was 20 years. Counselor. It's surprising to me. Maybe I should take in a wedding fund like uh, Cher did. Mm. Mm. So that was a, like, I don't even have to read cards <laughs> to tell you guys that um, she's going to grift for a wedding. She grifts for everything. Um. And stream our wedding ceremony on YouTube. 47? Yeah, but was that natural? I'm talking about natural. He's 52. Yeah, he. So she's talking right, about getting pregnant. They are. <laughs> no, we were just talking about, people were saying, oh, bring up the marriage thing. I'm just saying. I mean, if Cher can do it. Oh my god. Really, Juno? You know, naturally? Little Only dog. Two. Hello. When I got pregnant with my last daughter, I was 20 years. <laughs> Be there in person. I know. Cher's still not married. <laughs> Zero. My kid, my daughter got pregnant when her only kid was 17. That would be insane. Mr. Ziggy. Oh my God, Lisa, Lisa that's hilarious. <laughs> I'm, do I'm drinking one of your favorite drinks. Oh, wow. Diet Coke or Diet Pepsi? Nope. Diet Pepsi. Yeah. Yep. That's <sighs> one of my favorites. You're right. You know me well. We're going to have to Just ignore them and leave them to those of us that have your back. Congrats again, Ziggy and Fred. Well, thank you, Kelly. Hey, Ziggy. I, I really do yeah. want to ask, though, why, why in the fuck are there 700 people? Do you... Again, it's upside down world for me. Like, my mind is completely bl blown wide open. Really. This is why Fred is getting cash taps left and right. Couldn't take away from Fred to help anyone else. Hmm. Somebody who had a reckless disregard for a child's life. Along with they shot a, a, a projectile bullet out of a gun in the same room as their one year old child. 
Yes. I got questions. People went outside yeah. office and all back. Yeah. We made you an can agreement that you want to send me money because we're friends. You can buy it back. Okay, so this is something that has come up a lot too. Since Chris has been coming around, uh, she keeps saying, Chris, don't give me money. Chris wanted to buy her merch, and I keep telling Chris not to give me money, and she's not going to take his money. Um, yeah, she is. Ziggy's going to take every penny that Ziggy can get. And she's going to... I hope that there's somebody watching over this gentleman. I really do. Curse with curiosity. Good to see you. Now Fred's asking for money and she's not paying her own rent. Her words as of today. Mm. So the cash apps and stuff. Congratulating. That was really sweet. The pay, I think somebody sent a PayPal too. It's actually really fucking gross. I mean... Hey Ziggy. Yes. Uh, later, can you you text me your address? Cause I want to send you a twenty dollar bill for your channel. <laughs> TP. I wonder if they just split the cash apps 50 50 at the end of each night while they laugh and people like people are yeah are completely laughing at them. I don't want you sending me money, Chris. We made an agreement, remember? You're my friend, but I want it to help you. Yeah. We made you an agreement that you want to send me money because we're friends. You can buy a bag of chips. <laughs> or some Diet Pepsi or Diet Coke, right? Yeah, with a twenty dollar bill. <laughs> That's now now it's pretty much twenty dollars for a for a twenty four pack. Yeah. <laughs> I just wanted to tell you that. Oh, well, that's sweet of you. It's the thought that counts, Chris. Yeah, we'll just call him Fred, but people will come up with all kinds of names, I'm sure. Uh don't give a damn what people say. I think you have made a huge difference in Fred's life. I wish you both happiness. Well, thank you, Rebecca. I just got a name for Fred. You're going to laugh. Oh, no. What is it? Fred Benson. Fred what? Benson. Like the uh, in the Bears movie. Oh, I haven't seen it. Do you guys know what he's talking about? I'll tell you him. Let me. Oh, yes, I think I do know who you're talking Alicia, the Ziggy. I think this is the cartoon character. Yeah. Oh, you're talking about that. They were talking, mentioning Ziggy, the cartoon. There's a Ziggy cartoon character, too. So do you guys know what Bear movie he's talking about? Bear Bins Benson. Benson. Fred Benson. Well, he is kind of hairy. <laughs> hey, Keith. Thank you, me, myself, and I. Thank you so much. I'll leave for a minute, and then I'll go look it up. You can uh, drop the link in a second again. Okay. Mr. Tomato Head and his bucket of parts. <laughs> she is <clears throat> in love. I, yeah. My blood runs cold thinking about the vulnerable doll being in contact with the, yeah. So good to see you, little dove. You know what I just thought about? Ziggy's trailer over at the Jerks, this, the remix, it's going to have to be remixed and more added on.
That's all there is to it. All right, guys. I fast forwarded to the point where uh, Chris is not there any longer because I, I'm not going to exploit that dude more than he already is, even though it was, there was a lot of good info. Here, let me grab the link to her video in case people have not seen it. Here you go. First time I ever dropped her link, probably. Here you go. There's a link to that video. Um, everybody, everybody, you get a protective order. You get a protective order. Except for I don't. We're not going to get them. We're going to play this. Because I, I don't, can. and I'm confused, Voodoo, about Ryan. And, uh, Ziggy, here. The thing is, you've been on here for a while now. We've been here a while. I just, I see Poo just dropped a video, by the way, that says congrats, congrats, Friggy. I'm not going to play it, but I'm going to drop this link in the chat. Poo's link is also in the description. I haven't watched it, but I can't wait to. <laughs> anyway, back to it. Uh, what he means by, uh, what, what did he, Ryan, Ryan said he found, I don't know. I don't know. I've heard that uh, I, I that it's not related, but I don't know. I know Michelle Williams. Yeah, once I got to know the person he was is when I fell in love with him. I mean, I was just, he is an amazing person. I can't say it enough. It's poor. Really I was just thinking I need to go get me a Diet Coke. I was going to take a walk. Ryan even hunts down like subscribers that he sees talking shit about him and he goes to their freaking pages and if they have any videos up at all that he leaves like freaking horrible comments like, like he is so not what people think like literally somebody one of my subscribers showed me a comment that like he left on one of her videos over cat right Marie <laughs> when did I realize Started having feelings, I guess, like a few months after he was in jail. When did he go to jail? A few months after he was in jail. Hmm. Yeah, it was actually she contacted her on a Pinterest. Pinterest is how she got a hold of her. Through the Facebook, though. <laughs> I think uh, TPE, if she could have been up here, she, we could have mentioned. Hold on, we got dogs barking. I, I don't try to push my opinion on anybody like uh, I yeah I really don't like him I, I don't think he's a good person but that's just my my opinion and and people know it and but I want everybody to come up with their own opinions I just think that he's an opportunist and I had a bad experience with him I was the first creator in this community to basically have him on my panel and put him out there and then he just I don't know he just wasn't like he just wasn't who I thought he was. It was really disappointing. So I might be late to kind of respond. Um, how come her and Fred haven't gone to that spot that spot yet? That I know I'll have a lot of texts and stuff like that. I probably won't talk much about our relationship on here. You know what I mean? In the future, I just won't have to worry about what I say. So, and that's. Well, that's a fucking lie. 
the next you couldn't i mean you were up early today ziggy early up and in love mm. it's like you know that takes a weight off my chest so that way i can just talk openly and if he comes up or something about our relationship comes up i can talk about it you know without having to worry but i still i'm not gonna be it's not gonna i'm not gonna talk much about our you know that our personal life in that way um, I'm not going to go back and forth with the people who have opinion, negative opinions of it. There's no reason to, um, I'm going to do, no matter what somebody says, I'm going to do what I want to do. And yeah, their opinion isn't going to, especially a person's opinion that I know always has something negative to say, or, you know, never has been said anything nice about me. Why would I listen to him? And I know even some people, some supporters are going to get. Thank you, tiny tumbleweed. I mean, I know there's going to be. Uh, they're some... both fucking liars. Who are perfectly okay with exploiting Summer. I mean. Why was she worried before? Was he not single? We know the answer to that. Hey Ziggy, why don't you cover Rose Bly case and Fred can retell the story. Looking on the hill. He has a lot of stories. Fred has a lot of stories. A lot. I was going back uh, watching uh, Michelle Walks, Michelle After Dark. She had a video that she did that was actually a live stream Ziggy deleted that were texts between her and Fred while he was in jail. Um... That live stream could be back up at this point. But at that point, she had taken it down. It's interesting to see that. Supporters who don't agree. That's... Vader, when he first came on, he acted like he was uh, so against psychics and was only about date, like tr true data and hardcore evidence. And then next thing you know, like he starts hooking up with psychics and like, and then come to find out he suddenly presents his wife as psychic and is like, what the hell is going on? Like, you're not, you're a fake. And, that, and obviously I have no problem with psychics because I read tarot. I'm not a psychic or anything, but I like to read tarot. Just, it's just a, I find it interesting. But there are some psychics I do, you know, watch and take into account, but he represented himself as somebody who was totally not into that kind of stuff. And then it's like, he went to totally all into that. It just doesn't make sense. Thank you, Carolyn. <laughs> no, man. Yeah. Go ahead. Me and Ryan clash big time. Oh, yeah. I've done a lot of readings on me and Fred. Oh, they know I wasn't dating Ryan. They're just, they're just teasing because they don't, yeah, they're just being silly. Ryan's married and yeah, no, we don't, we don't even freaking get along. Like it would never, he does find drama any chance he gets. You know, um, you probably wouldn't be so itchy if you changed clothes and took a bath. I heard that before. Run, Jason, run. Yeah, that would have been a good t-shirt. We should have totally done that. Jason was all about it, too. <laughs> yes, he, hi he like goes to people's videos or subscribers and comments like shitty things about him. Just like, just because he's seen them say something negative about him. But he's the one that's on YouTube and putting himself out like that, you know. The videos he's commenting on that people have up are like videos of their, you know, cats and shit. Exactly, Sassy. Oh, that's awesome, Mrs. Kravitz. But it's very, very true. Like, are, in order to be happy, you... Who are you, you, you matter, people? Who are you? Like, whenever I pull up the chat, I'm just... Would anyone care? Like, congrats to both of you. Good luck. 
one 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 sometimes even you have to not listen to even the, the opinions fuck? of family like some family because even some family doesn't really have your best interest just always go with what you think is the best thing no matter what don't let people yes. dictate N none of my videos you know are working still in the background uh i think that the internet is just not great tonight the way it is where i'm at and it's the way it is i have to play him from youtube mm -hmm. me too i am glad not to they are both opportunists absolutely absolutely i'm just jealous <laughs> Tanga, Tanga's been killing it tonight in chat, by the way. Misha, I think she'll give her channel to Fred and his drone. His drone. I... Man. You just made me go into a whole... <sighs> There, it's upside down earth. It's upside down earth. Who you're with. If... Now, definitely listen to the people who are really close to you. Yeah, that's Gatorade. And, uh, you could say it in the but... microwave. For sure. Look at what it's been doing it the whole time, too. Themselves. Have to hover over the stream. Oh, she hasn't been on. His wife hasn't been in video since the Andy Bernard's thing. Is that true? The day before this, I when she was in the airport, she was talking some, uh, about the Sebastian Rogers case, of course, and uh, saying some of the most repulsive gross um things covering her face as she was saying it in public live streaming i mean hey lily that frown is permanent there you go poo perma frown <laughs> absolutely i agree uh it's yeah it's just time i've uh I've, trust me I've had my share of, I've dated, <laughs> you learn what you want or what you're looking for in somebody over time. She's mad, right? I would be too. He made her the freaking butt of jokes. No pun intended. In my opinion, I'd be so mad. Like if I was her, I think he's using her. I don't know. I hope to God she's not part of his freaking... Oh, thank you, Selena. That's so sweet. Yeah, I guess so, Alicia. That's why I was. Has he not? Has his wife not been on video since then? And I don't. I don't want to talk shit about her or anything. I I felt bad for her, honestly. I mean, I know I'm the first person to point it out or whatever, but and joke about it. But I, it, it was in good fun. It was nothing against her. I just couldn't believe Ryan put that in the video. That's what just shows to me that he doesn't know what he's talking about in the Summer Wells case. Had he listened to somebody who's been around, like. Instead, of, he just comes out of nowhere. Like, like you, Ziggy, who didn't even know how old Summer was yesterday. Because you didn't know how old she was. She must be a led and very sad life to have a perma frown. Mm. Hmm. Legit, he came out into the case like around July or something. He hasn't even been around a year. He was brand new when we and Fred were talking to him. Brand spanking new. He knew nothing. I I tried. I felt like I was spending all my time trying to get him caught up on. You know nothing. Just make shit up. Awful, aw awful things about a little girl and her brothers and her mom and her dad. And the dog you got, and the man you're fucking. The suspect. 
that you're fucking. On the case and like guiding him in the right direction because I thought he was here for the right reasons. I truly did. You know, I was guiding him like truly who I wasn't saying, oh, talk to this person and don't talk to that person. It was, uh, you know, what I'm decipher for himself. But I tried to tell him, tried to get him caught up on things, but I mean, he knew nothing. Thank you, Matthew. Thank you, Be the Bean. He only used to get his name out there, to get his name out there enough to before he could just just so he could be recognized enough to in order for it to. And then after that happened, he knows what he's doing. He he used to talk, he he's even said that he has been a big part of like conspiracy debunking conspiracy theories in the past and has been got himself into some shit with other like people in these groups like reddit groups and stuff like that and so before that's where he did all his supposed research or debunking or whatever but She's getting so boring at the end that the retrograde doesn't want me to play her. So I'm not going to if it doesn't want me to. Because I'm getting pretty tired and I have a couple, two more videos I want to play before I get out of here tonight. And again, guys, I will be live for a members only stream this weekend. Thank you to every one of you that became members. I'm about to pull that up and thank you all again. I think we should go over Ziggy's temper tantrum about Ryan so we can be reminded of the real reason she doesn't like him. He stole her drama spotlight and she didn't care. Well, yeah. Very true. I'm so glad you guys are here tonight. It's been really, really good. Great stream. Uh, minus the Technical issues and no TPE on the mic. We had a little bit. He knows what gets attention. He knows that drama sells. And I think that, yeah, he knew it would get him um, views. I just, I think I really like to know, like really see into his credentials. Yeah, he may have not been arrested before, like he likes to say, but I really want to look into this. The fuck? are your credentials. Can we talk about your credentials, Ziggy, for a momento, please? What are they? Let's talk about credentials in the chat. This guy's credentials and see if he's an engineer like he says he is, if he has the credentials I mean, and also his independent research that he claims he has. You can write he shit on a wheel at journalism look at that look at i that just wheel. don't believe he had he and also where he claims he was a um a source used for the history channel right that's what i'm saying Teresa. i would have told him like no like he would have known like even even uh andy told him that there was a bunch of barrels up there with shit that he needed to get rid of. What? Aww. Oh, that's so sweet. Crime, so consequences. Congratulations. Someone answered, did his wife stop? Because I guess so, Lulu. It's good to be back, Tanga. She's researching. She's a researching expert, yes. And she's transparent. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, thank you. That's so nice, uh, Moon Child. Well, I'm an introvert in a way too, but tetanus shot. <laughs> Lucky Lou, I know, right? She might have. 
engineers don't carry tiny, tiny shovels. That's why he claims he's an engineer and works at Eastman and he's, I don't know. I don't know. I'm kind of, I don't know how to describe me. I, I'm an extrovert. Like when it comes, like here I can talk, but in person, I, I, I do like a lot of time alone. I get very, very annoyed easily um, being around a lot of people. Thank you, Nanya. No, not yet, Stephanie, but no, not yet, but hopefully soon. I don't, yeah, I'm not sure that this community is really what I'm supposed to be doing, like as far as content, I feel more so. It's the first thing, this whole entire live stream that I've agreed with. Absolutely. I think a lot of us feel the same way. Please stop exploiting Summer. Imagine Ziggy with no car, no job, no license, doesn't do laundry or even pay her own bills without her subscribers getting her to beg in Summer's name, but talks about people's credentials. Mm -hmm. and, and everybody, everybody's everything else too. Good night, KK. I sent her a message, but didn't get the first page. Damn, do you really think, Archangel, that, well, he may have to. He may have to get a fucking job. Um, keep it real. Because Pearl, it sucks. But I guess we'll find out, right? She's going to let us know the whole way. Believe mm -hmm. that. Right? She wants everybody to know. <laughs> I'm supposed to be doing the spiritual stuff, the more positive stuff, because it can be really negative over here. I mean, it is all what you make it. I mean, you some people do very, very well, like staying out of the drama. Oh, okay, Shannon. I don't see your comments. Let me see. Are you seeing? My yeah, I see Jessica. You said something about how, why did they Ryan go back up, up there? Really if he didn't so, think it was Angel. anything. You don't think it'll last? I guess we'll he's find just doing out. what he thinks will get him views. Isn't that what you do, Ziggy? Come on. Yeah, so glad I know people don't over. like. I mean, most of my subscribers here they're not into that <laughs> type of stuff, uh, like the tarot and stuff. And I know it's a much smaller channel, but. Um, it does have a lot of a potential. All right, guys, I am going to go. And she goes. And she, the rest of her day probably looked a little bit like this. It's from Pooh, y'all.
You know she is. <laughs> I hope everybody is. I hope the majority of you are. I know I am. Another. Another picker. And if, if they would have moved on top of the hill. Like the hill. This is from Maleficent's channel, by the way. Here's the link. That's what the hill looked like when Ziggy rolled up on it. Just like this. Driving right there. That's where Fred lives. That is his house. There's a yellow truck. I just can't believe somebody really lives there. But it's like covered. They're in the morning. Oopsie. Mercury's still in the microwave, guys. I'm going to shout out to everybody that became a member tonight. It's ironic. Thank you. And thank you also for your other donation actually paid for the free membership some of them tonight ozzy tragedy pumps exposed earth ozzy carrie tj tanga nova jeep girl stars chris cindy eliza who shining who else do we have here and everybody that got gifted one again we will be alive again this weekend guys i'm tired it's been an amazing night Thank you all. I love you guys. I hope that my video will play here in the back that I have. If not, I might have to pull up something. Um, that's all I got tonight, guys. We're out of here. I love y'all.